Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed, May 25, 2016 at 106 a.m. Birmingham. Topic, some more information about the Farman prophecy. This is the prophecy that talks about Donald Trump being in office, being elected. And there's a lot between the lines, if you hear what he says, that if you look at it close enough, you can begin to pull out a lot that you haven't heard. And uh, one of those things, and I may have mentioned it some, that I believe he's going to be elected. I, I, I have zero doubts. I know he's going to be elected. That's out the window. He will be president. Hillary will be soundly defeated. And um, and I think he has a very difficult job ahead of him. But I think he's going to do it. I think he's going to pull it off. I think in record time, this man will have this country turned around. And uh, not necessarily in the black, but not far after should he get a second term during that term, it will be in the black. This is my personal feeling. And I'm going by several things. One is just the, the absolute way this man will write up and do a business deal. If it's not going to benefit him, then he's not going to do it. And this country needs to be run in that light and in that thought and in that way, not go to Iran and give up however many billions, still let them take our sailors and hold them, even if it was for a day. That's, that's 23 hours too long. And then Russian aircraft buzzing our ships at, I mean, as close as they say, 20 feet. And then here you have is a trawler or something from China goes out and takes some of our ships that was in international waters. And what did Obama say? Nothing, nothing. This reminds me of the day that these things were happening happening in a similar way when Carter was president. And we could not wait to get Reagan in. It's going to happen when Obama comes in or goes out. God, I, I'll be glad when that name cannot come across my lips again. But when he is out, Trump is in, you will see an automatic, absolute turnaround on all those who are doing these silly cross this red line BS. That'll end. And Trump will end it. But for him to do what he says he will do, and prophecies support that. Keep in mind one huge thing. In the prophecy, the fireman prophecy, we have been reaping America, mainly Christians, for a very long time. Been sending missionaries out. We've been helping other countries. The two countries most of the time that are first ones on the scene are Israel and the United States. Israel was the first one in Tahiti. Israel was the first ones in Japan. You have a country, the United States, that has sold for a long, long time. And I'm talking about not only church groups or whole churches, 
I'm talking about independent people that gave a tithe to the church. You're sowing when you do that. And the farmer says, get ready to receive your harvest. You're going to reap off of what you sow. And it's going to be sevenfold. I believe it. I believe it. 100%. No hose barred. I believe it that we're going to see that. And I believe those that did tithe, those that did give 10%, I believe happy day for them. So let's move on to something else. And I started out with Obama's name. I'm hearing two things about Obama. One, he wants to make it an announcement of something that he wanted to do back in the day that we saw the spiral in the sky above Norway. Did you know that the night that that happened, the evening of that happening, Obama was supposed to have announced we have contact. We have visitors, and here he is. Let me introduce you. But that was stopped for some reason. We do have others, but none of them are good. Take that and know that none of them are good. All are products of the watchers, fallen angels. And I'll tell you later about that lineage. Fallen angel was a watcher. Fallen angel, he is also called a Nephilim. Sons of God, he is also a Nephilim. It is their offspring that they can't mate, but they can procreate by making, mixing other things. Angels are still here. They can disguise themselves, and you would be running around with one, talking to one, eating with one, have a meeting with one, and never know it. They're among us. So Obama wants to make that announcement before he leaves. He's made that clear. And uh, in reality, I kind of believe he will. But keep in mind, they're not of good. They do not have God or man DNA in them. They have other DNA of the fallen. And... Um, And on top of that, I failed to mention the other night on the dance that they're putting on at the Hadron Collider. Remember Shiva, the God of Destruction, and they're doing this dance, a chant, or whatever they're doing. Remember that CERN, the Collider, was built on a portal already. They're setting on an active portal. That's why they built on that active portal. To, not that it didn't already have traffic in and out of it. It did. But it's like coming in and out of it It is the human and a lot of these guys that really wants to see what's coming in and out of it. And I think that's why the seven-story camera that takes up to a billion photos per second. And I think that are you getting these grainy pixelated things that people try to make it look like a picture of an alien or another being. What I saw in it, was totally different by what they described. And it looked like a picture that I had taken off my deck. It was a ugly, 
greenish looking ape like creature but but ugly or you know just so coming up obama wants to announce make a grand disclosure announcement of there or others here they are the pope wants to offer each of them an opportunity to accept christ and that won't happen the Pope has put out a Bible that over 150 key verses have been removed from it. Plus, many books have been removed from it. He said, this is the new Bible. This is what we should go by. And um, the list is long. The time for America and the world to really start a downturn is fast approaching. But even at this, America's going to prosper for a while. I don't believe now there will be a rapture of the church until after, until after we have seen a harvest. Then I think we'll have a rapture of the church, even with Trump in charge. So these are some things to think about. These are some things that so many people are saying is going to happen. Otherwise, I wouldn't be saying this. And um, But expect, expect a lot of stuff soon. And things that are scary and... Um, of course, everything you see in here is going to be coated in a little bit of muddy water. And um, Hillary Clinton, they're running scared. She has been caught too many times. And I also hear last that Obama will be arrested the day after the new president is sworn in. I expect him to flee the country. I really do. I expect the Clintons to melt down and fade into the woodwork. I really do. Because I think Trump will be the last president of the United States of America. There will be no more after that because there will be no United States to have a president to run. Jody Wolf Exposed.